The story begins with a commoner boy opening his eyes and looking as tears of agony fall from his eyes. He looks around to see that some nobles are laughing at him. He can't help but wonder what's going on. But Prince tells him that he will grant his wish before taking his life. He asks the commoner boy to strike him with his best magic spell. And the boy does so. However, his spell is so weak that it hardly causes any damage to the prince. Seeing this, the nobles make fun of his weak magic. And the prince can't believe there's a commoner in his kingdom whose magic is so weak. He then shares the words of a great father of sorcery called William Bordeaux, who said the most important things for a mage are lineage, talent, and intelligence, and then informs him that magic will never smile upon someone as insignificant as him. He activates his powerful flame magic and sends it towards him, causing the flames to immediately consume the commoner boy's body. The boy screams in pain as the flames burn him to ashes, but then he immediately begins smiling at the magnificent magic of a noble. <laughs> He wishes he learned more about magic and mastered it while he was alive. The next moment he wakes up, he sees himself surrounded by some maids holding toys. He looks at them and thinks they are giant enemies, but he looks at his hands and realizes they are quite tiny. With this, he accidentally casts a fire spell, which bursts through the roof of the castle as fireworks go off. <laughs> Marking his birth, a town carrier runs through the kingdom, announcing the birth of the seventh prince of the kingdom of Salem while sharing posters with the people. While everyone is happy at the birth of Prince Lloyd, the maids at the castle are mind blown by the fire spell created by the newborn baby. After a few years, some maids search for the prince in the castle and wonder where he is. The prince comes out of hiding after they leave and decides to sneak away from the castle, but he gets greeted by two men. Prince Lloyd shushes the man and tells him to deny seeing him and the man agrees to keep his secret. He asks Lloyd if he'll like to go hunting with them, but Lloyd leaves without saying anything. The man is disappointed that the prince has run off again, but his friend informs him that Lloyd is the seventh prince of this kingdom, which makes him out of the race for the crown. The man informs his friend that the prince is something else, as he was able to speak shortly after his birth, read spell books instead of children's picture books, and also refused breast milk like any gentleman would. He tells his friend that he thinks the prince is a reincarnation of the great sorcerer William Bordeaux. His friend laughs at him and tells him it's ridiculous to think the prince is a reincarnation of the great sorcerer or a reincarnated prince. He then runs down the steps in the castle, and he realizes the man is right about him being a reincarnation. He remembers he was a commoner boy in his past life and doesn't know much about magic, but wonders why his memories are still with him in this world. As the maids look for him in the castle, he wonders why he was reborn as someone privileged to be the seventh son of a royal family. Despite being born into royalty, he doesn't plan to follow their ambitions for glory. He decides to stick to his ambitions from his past life and wishes to learn about magic. He enters the royal library, and he's amazed by the library's collection because it surpasses that of the Magic Academy in his past life. He takes a book and opens it up, but someone immediately appears behind him. A girl named Silpha takes the book from his hands and is mad after finding that he ran away from the maids. They then engage in sword play, and Lloyd is able to hold his own against her for a while, but she eventually pushes him back. He tells her he does not have any intention to search for the throne since he's the seventh. Hence, he doesn't need sword instructions. Silpha tells him there's more to life than succession to the throne, and he is a member of the royal family. He needs to know how to handle a sword. Lloyd realizes that Silpha won't let him go until he defeats her. With this, our reincarnated prince decides to go into a serious mode, and Silpha realizes that Lloyd is getting stronger with each passing day. Lloyd isn't bothered by her compliment because he knew she was holding back but he reveals that he is also secretly using control-type magic to trace Silpha's movements. He believes he is basically cheating, but he is doing this so he can get out of practice and go back to reading more magic books. They continue sparring. And Lloyd realizes that though he could copy her techniques, he is still at a disadvantage against her which would make him lose. He decides to cheat and use his magic to increase his sword length and his physical strength. He re-engaged Silpha, and this time he's able to keep up with her. He believes he'll be able to win with his magic, and our reincarnated Prince Lloyd decides to use his trump card to make an unexpected move. He shoots his trace magic, which mirrors Silpha's movements, and he tries to strike her from behind. 
At first, Sylpha looks surprised, but then blocks his attack. She realizes that he is cheating and then knocks his sword out of his hands. She's surprised he thought she wouldn't notice his cheating skills. However, she's amazed he was able to use two spells at once, which most court magicians can't even manage and she tells him not to rush his growth, but to grow at his own pace. However, Lloyd realizes she didn't notice his physical enhancement and his control spells, because he was actually using four magic spells at once. With this, he decides to keep this information secret from her so she doesn't rat him out. Sylpha takes him to the maid bath, but Lloyd protests, telling her he can bathe himself. Sylpha doesn't want to let him out of her sight because she believes she'll only find him under a pile of books. Lloyd is disappointed he doesn't get to read his book, but the other maids tell him the demon of the library will get him up if he remains stubborn. Lloyd is shocked that there's a library with a forbidden demon. The maids share the tale of the demon named Grimoire, who almost destroyed this kingdom a long time ago, and reveal that it took several sorcerers to seal the demon away in a book. Sylpha thinks the story is a fairy tale because she can't believe there's a book in the castle's underground library where the monster is sealed. Sylpha doesn't think Lloyd will be scared by such a tale, but she's surprised to see him trembling. The maids offer to sleep with him through the night, but Sylpha tells them she's the only one who can perform that role. As the argument between the maids begins, Lloyd uses that opportunity to sneak away, as the idea of a forbidden underground library in the castle makes his eyes sparkle with anticipation. Lloyd goes underground, uses an invisible spell to get through the guards guarding the entrance and sneaks past them. While they argue about the authenticity of the tale, they believe no one will be able to sneak past them and break the seal cast by the ten most powerful mages the kingdom has ever seen. Our reincarnated Prince Lloyd arrives at the seal, and he breaks it easily. He enters the library, and he can't believe he never knew such an exciting section existed underground in the castle. He moves through the library, checking out the books, and he reminds himself to put up the barrier when he's leaving. He settles down with a book when another book suddenly starts levitating, which surprises Lloyd. A demon emerges from the book, and he tells Lloyd he's impressed he was able to break the seal. Lloyd wonders who the demon is, and the demon introduces himself as Grimoire, and Lloyd realizes that he's the demon of the forbidden book. Grimoire tries to convince Lloyd to free him from the seal, and he offers to give him as much gold as he wants, but Lloyd isn't impressed with the demon's creation magic. He's disappointed. Lloyd just molded some dust into gold, and he crushes the gold back into dust easily, which surprises Grimoire. Lloyd tells him he plans to replace his seal because he doesn't want a demon to destroy his plans to learn the magic of this kingdom. Grimoire becomes desperate, and he offers to teach Lloyd some ancient magic that has been lost to time. This piques Lloyd's interest, and Grimoire tells him he will teach him because he can see he has a lot of magic talent. Lloyd remembers his past life in the words of the prince, who said magic would never smile on him because he's a commoner. He's now convinced he has a body more privileged in magic than a mere commoner. He decides to release the demon's seal, and the demon can't believe his luck as he breaks it with a spell. Lloyd tells the demon to teach him about the ancient magic, and the demon decides to keep his word. He immediately strikes Lloyd with an ancient flame magic. And he decides to move on with his escape, thinking he has taken Lloyd down. But he's surprised to see Lloyd is safe because he uses a barrier to protect himself. Lloyd is amazed at the spell cast by the demon, and he asks the demon to show him more. The demon is pissed by this, and he hits Lloyd with more powerful ancient magic spells. But none of them can penetrate through Lloyd's barrier. Lloyd is so fascinated by the magic that he decides to try it for himself. He takes the remnants from his barrier and holds them on his finger so he can observe their composition. He excitedly awaits what more Grimoire can offer when, suddenly, Grimoire grows a second face and starts chanting. Lloyd notices his double face and believes he will release a devastating ancient spell. But Grimoire does so, and our reincarnated Prince Lloyd analyzes the spell from within his barrier. But Grimoire can't believe Lloyd is still alive. After being hit with his most powerful spell, Grimoire decides to run for his life as he believes he is no match for him. But he's stopped by a barrier. Lloyd informs him that he put up a barrier so that he won't try to run away. Lloyd then decides to test Grimoire's defensive magic, and he casts a huge spell. Grimoire can't believe Lloyd has such a huge mana, and he tries to dodge the fire spell, but he's burnt to a crisp. Lloyd wonders why Grimoire wasn't able to dodge his attack, and Grimoire can't believe he's so arrogant. Lloyd then decides to repair the damage to the library, and Grimoire can't believe a kid was able to restore the room so perfectly. He decides to treat Lloyd with respect, surrender himself, and pledge his services to Lloyd. 
He asks to serve as Lloyd's familiar, and Lloyd immediately agrees. But Grimoire believes Lloyd sees him as a lab rat. Lloyd tells him he is very tall, and he asks him to transform into something smaller. Grimoire transforms into a little cute demon with the aim of buttering Lloyd up so he can take him down when he's unaware. Our reincarnated Prince Lloyd invites him to jump into his coat and decides to use the opportunity to attach himself to Lloyd and take over his body. But as soon as he touches Lloyd, he's surprised by how powerful Lloyd's mono is. He decides to be obedient to Lloyd because he can't see himself taking control of him. I appreciate you viewing my anime recap, Unruly Family. Please let me know what you think about I was reincarnated as the seventh prince so I can take my time perfecting my magical ability by liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving a comment.